Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now, I'm going to use one of my analogies, so I want you to really get this. I'm still talking about shooting pool, but I'm talking about your life. Now, I bought a book years ago. At a time, remember I told you about this guy named Carlos who could shoot rings around everybody. Well, I bought a book because I was determined to beat that guy. He was so good. I was determined to beat him. And I want to ask you, how determined are you to win? How determined are you to break free from the enemy's grip on your life? All right. So here I was determined to beat Carlos. And I bought myself a book. There were two or three guys in there that could just just make mincemeat out of me. And I was tired of losing. Tired of losing. Are you tired of losing? Yeah. Okay. So I buy this book by Willie Moscone. And one of the exercises he gave was to learn how to draw the ball. And I'd set up my balls and I'd practice for hours. Then he talked about how to keep position simple and not to complicate it. Always think ahead. What is your next shot? What's the consequence of this shot? How are you going to set up? Have the whole game shot out in your mind before you make your first shot. Strategy. Now, I practiced and practiced and practiced hours every day. When I wasn't working, I would get up and I'd go down and shoot pool till I had to go to work. I mean, I practiced, I slept, ate, drank, did everything pool. Now, one thing I noticed, when you look at people who are in the Olympics, they eat, sleep, and drink that sport. They don't have time for TV games. They don't have time for going out with their buddies. While they're going out, they're over there practicing. People think, oh man, you're obsessed. You got to live your life. Well, what about your life? Well, hey, they're planning for their life. They're doing all the dirt work now. They're doing all the drudge. They're in boot camp. And they are staying there. They're determined. They're willfully staying there. Until they are ready to win, to conquer now, I would read these books. I'd practice all day. I'd practice all my off days. I'd practice from like whatever time I got up and got out there till I couldn't keep my eyes open anymore. So my point to you is, when you walk with the Lord, when you try to learn the ways of God, number one, you don't just say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. I accept. I believe. Blah, 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 blah. You got a testimony, boom. You're forgiven. It doesn't stop there. It starts there. I had to go to the store. I had to buy the right weight stick for me. I had to buy. I bought myself, I think it's called a, a, a Muchi Muchi, whatever. And I still have that stick with the original tip. My point is, you go for quality. You, you work towards things that are going to last over the course of time. Things that will endure. You don't play with frivolous stuff. You don't cheapen your walk with the Lord. You don't trifle with God's love and mercy. You take this thing seriously. You get your book. You get your Bible. You open your Bible. That is your manual. That is now my Wooly Moscone book on how to write. Back then it was Wooly Moscone. Now it is the Holy Bible. I mean, you have got to dig. You have got to give it all you have. I wasn't playing uh, out there playing with my buddies partying. I was at the pool, family billiard place, practicing shots, practicing Positions, practicing draw, practicing bank shots, practicing 
practicing, practicing, practicing. You get in that word. You practice holiness. You practice keeping your mouth shut. You practice self-control. You practice hum humility. You practice love till you mean it. You practice patience. You practice prayer until you really develop a relationship with God. When you're dating somebody and they call you and, Hi, how you doing? What you doing? I'm not doing nothing. What you doing? I'm not doing stupid conversations. Why? You're practicing up on what could be a serious relationship. You spend time with it. You don't tiddly wink, you play it, you spend time, especially if it's something you see as serious. You have to go after God. He says, you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. What are you seeking? Where is your attention? What are you focusing on? What do you want? Do you really want it? Or does it come in handy? Occasionally. Like a, a, a good, uh, a good fling. Not a relationship, just a fling. Comes in handy when you're lonely at night. Just a fling. Is God your fling? Is that all he is? Is this walk with the Lord just a game? But you don't practice. You don't practice. You don't try. You don't read. You don't do any of that. You just get up and you head out and you do your thing. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. But you ain't doing what he wants you to do. What's up with that? Are you really saved? Or do you have a good claim to fame? You know, what always cracked me up is when you see people on TV or even people in, in everyday life. One thing people love to do is name drop. I, I shook hands with... Denzel Washington at the restaurant two years ago. I showed him a picture of my baby girl. And he laughed. We really had a good chat. That man don't remember you. You ain't in his life every day. That was a happenstance crossing of paths. That's all it was. And some of y'all are doing that with God. You just happenstance just crossed the you just crossed this path you said a few little words of honor gave him a little honorable mention you don't know where he lives he don't know you you don't hang with him you're not part of the inner sanctum you just got a name yeah I know Jesus I know Jesus. Hey, baby. Really? God is not mocked. This is scripture. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. What are you sowing? You sowing to the spirit or are you sowing to your flesh? What are you sowing? Hmm? You sowing to holiness and humility, or are you sowing to your attitude? Look, come on now, take this thing seriously. God is not an understudy. He's supposed to be the star of your show, baby. Not an understudy. He will not play second fiddle. To any of your lovers. 